Hello again, everyone. This is Joe Hinches with Beyond the Chart, and this is Stock Trade Ideas, week of February 16th. And of course, the market is closed tomorrow. So we're going to uh, look at two trade ideas that we're currently in on Caterpillar and Seagate Technologies, and then one new idea for the week on Apache. All right, let's take a look at CAT. We got in on the 9th, uh, and where was the 9th? Right here. Okay, felt like this was starting to turn. I uh, was seeing divergence in the indicators. Felt like this was starting to turn. It's now broken this trend line. It, it's, you know, it kind of struggled a little bit to get going here. The, uh, the moving averages, let me blow it up a little bit. The blue line is crossing above the 20, so the 10 is crossing above the 21. That's the blue over the blue gray. Okay, and so we're getting across. It looked uh, on Friday this broke the trend line here, the short term trend line. And I'll, I'm not looking for a huge move. I, like, you know, right now I'm not expecting this to go up to 100. I mean, I, I don't know, it may. But we've got this downtrending 55 day moving average here. Uh, I do think it's trying to, to turn counter trend, and it may be correcting, you know, it may be getting ready to go with another whole leg, especially with the markets acting. So, uh, we'll just have to look to see, and of course, a lot of this depends on how oil's doing. And if you look at at this trend line, I mean, cat's broken that trend line here. So anyway, we continue to to monitor and watch this, and I've got a short term target out there, and the details of all the trade ideas are on the trade ideas webpage. You have to be a subscriber to get access, and that's very easy to do. Just first name and email, and you can sign up for it. And let's see, so right now CAT's continuing to track. It's trading above the 10-day moving average. It has now for two, four, six, seven days in a row. And the next one we're going to take a look at is Seagate Technologies. A similar type thing. I do think Seagate is trying to, to take off here on a new leg to the high side. Uh, the pattern looks very similar to what we see over here. Um, the... You know, these little doji bars here, though, um, gave me a little bit of pause, but, you know, it didn't seem to affect after getting this one right here. It didn't seem to bother it. It jumped up and, you know, gapped up on the open and ran a little bit, then pulled back. So what I'm seeing and we're counting on is this thing to continue to running, and we'll see. I mean, right now the moving average is the 10 is about to cross above the 21, similar to, you know, the way it did right here. And uh, we'll see. Uh, let's see. One, oh, on the uh, indicators. So right now it's continuing to track. Wait, let me go back for a minute. <clears throat> we got in on the 9th, which would have been this day. Okay. So we got in right up in here somewhere, I believe. So actually the last four days have been, you know, pretty decent. You know, it's moving in the right direction. Again, all these closes, two, four, six, eight closes above the 10-day exponential moving average. Uh, so we're trying to ride the 10-day. We've got a short-term target up here again. And uh, we'll see if we can't get our target hit, and we'll go from there. So right now it's tracking. And, oh, and I was going to show the, the indicator real quick. Because the indicators have broken some trend lines here. RSI, 8-day RSI. The demand index hasn't gone positive yet, but it looks like it's getting close. And DI minus and DI plus... It looks like DI plus is getting ready. It's approaching. Uh, we get another, you know, nice move up, and it should be breaking above the uh, DI minus. So that will be nice. All right. So right now, uh, we'd like to see the volume pick up a little bit here, and get above the 50-day moving average for these moves to the high side. So I'd like to see a little more volume come into to Seagate on Tuesday. Okay. Now we're going to take a look at Apache. And, you know, I've looked, <laughs> looked at all, I've got about 38 stocks, I'm watching, 38 to 40 stocks I'm looking at uh, on a regular basis, daily basis. And, you know, this is the only one that really I had any kind of comfort for a new setup. And Apache looks like it's trying to turn here. It looks like we're doing some fan lines in here. And we're approaching, we're getting this close back above the 10. What I like is that the... Uh, 21 is broken above the 55, okay? So it's now been four days where that's happened. 
Now the 55 is still trending down, but if we continue to get a push to the high side here, that 55 is going to turn up. So really the intermediate has now turned to the high side by getting this cross. The short term has been has been turned since back here when it crossed. Uh, and you know we've had some uh, little bit of whippiness, a little bit of choppiness, but right now it looks like it's getting ready to make a move. So you know I've got a, an entry point up in here that I'm looking at for an entry into this. Would like to see it break this trend, this fan line, and of course this resistance point needs it'll need to break that. Okay, um, and you know I think there's a good chance it's going to go ahead and do that. You know, you know hit it once, it's pulled back. Now it's going to take another another run at it. Let's take a look at the indicators. I mean, the indicators are all, the RSI is all up here above 50. It's been chopping above 50. Uh, so that's that's good. DI, uh, the demand index, has gone has positive as of right now. And DI plus and DI minus, DI plus is, is greater than DI minus. Now we're not getting any trending, but that's because the way the price action's been. You know, the ADX line has just been trending back down here like this, and that that's a sign that there's really no trending going on in Apache, and it hasn't been since uh, mid December. So all of this is kind of a chopping sideways. But uh, and let's see, seemed like I was going to look at something else on the. Well, the other thing is the divergence. When you look at here, look look at this big divergence occurring between this point and this point on the downside. All right, so you can easily just say that, wow, price went to a new low, but the indicator did not go to a new low. It did not confirm that move. Same thing on the demand index, okay? So same thing on the demand index. And then the selling component, which is the red line. This is the buying line. This is the selling line. The selling line did not go higher. So, you know, that's another divergence that's going on. So all three of the indicators showed a divergence with this move, this last deep move down here on Apache. And what has it done? It's gone sideways to up since then and now looks like it may be trying to make a turn. So this is going to be interesting to watch, and we'll see. We'll see what kind of entry we get on Tuesday morning. All right, that's it for tonight. Kind of a short video, only, only three, two to review, and one new one. So we'll see how Tuesday goes. Hope everyone's having a great, uh, great weekend, and we'll talk to you on Tuesday night. This has been Joe for Beyond the Chart. See you soon.